G'day guys, this is Captain Noob here today, and from the creator of the fearsome flamethrower known as Fafnir comes the Zapper Pistol. This weapon is part of a mod that contains two energy weapons, one is the Photonics, which I'll get to later, and one is the Zapper, which is by far the most interesting weapon of the bunch. So if you're familiar with Borderlands 2, you have the TDL weapons, which you throw when you reload and they just did you struck back on your hands. Well. Or Warmock has definitely done it again with the Zapper Pistol here because it acts exactly like a TDL weapon would from Borderlands game. So let me demonstrate here. So I'll be firing my gun and it's time to reload and what would happen is it turns into a grenade in your inventory which you throw. Which is really friggin neat if you ask me. So this weapon gets thrown away every time so as a result of that I have a bunch of Zapper Pistols in my inventory to make sure that, you know, I keep, I'm able to keep shooting, so it doesn't regenerate in your hands like it would, but due to the limitations of the creation engine itself, I'm guessing it would be really, really hard to actually implement this properly, but this approximation is very close indeed, and it's going to be extremely fun to play with, so let's get Alrighty, into it. so you've seen the weapon card, and the base damage looks really good, so hopefully it should be an easy time killing all these gunners. This is the explosive one, looks like we've drawn that, so this is a very good start for us. Does heaps of damage as you can see. Destroys turrets in one shot. So it's definitely very good on the damage front right now. We'll try to empty our mag and leave out just one, uh, one, one lone gunner for us to reload on. We've got five left, we might reload on the gunner in the room. If we can kill her, yep. Now, let's test this out for a second. So if we reload now, we'll throw it like a grenade. And we'll run like hell. Did a little bit of damage to him. He wasn't in the explosion radius. Oh, it disintegrates people. That's nice. Yeah, he was a little bit too far for the explosion radius for it to kill him. So we'll definitely try it again. Maybe on one of these turrets. Probably not the Mark 1, that'll go down too easily. This weapon handles something like the alien blaster in that it fires as fast as you can pull the trigger, which is really nice. We'll never have to use a rapid effect to get this weapon to fire fast enough. Try to get one at your feet. Oh. So the fuse allows them to get away, but you can still do pretty decent damage. There we go, we'll toss that around the corner. Ooh, excellent. Almost took that turret down, which is okay. Ooh, looks like we've drawn the Deadeye one here. We'll try and make the best use out of a slowdown time. Because we've got that instant trigger pull shooting, so we can get heaps of damage on this man. There we go, it looks like this one's about to throw, so we'll place at his feet and hits him. Does less damage than I thought. It should. Oh well. It does enough. Not many other guns damage on a reload. Alright, so the legendary gunner goes down. I keep reloading it instinctively thinking it'll actually reload the gun as normal. It happens to me in Borderlands too, actually. Don't usually use TDO weapons. I'm mainly using... Not sure, really. Probably TOG weapons. I like the Unkempt Harold. Alright, looks like we might be able to get a kill with the exploding on him. Quickly throw it. Down it goes, and... Nope, just not enough damage. Could use with a buff there, I might, I reckon. Oh, looks like we're almost out of bullets. Now, while fiddling around with this mod, I found an exploit this weapon has, so I think if you unequip, then re-equip the gun. Okay, so that's not a glitch. We're probably gonna have to crit this guy to make sure we kill him. See. 
Yep, yeah, okay, so I've glitched it out trying to exploit it. Oh, looks like I've got another one to throw. Okay, maybe the exploit did work. It seems that when I'm when I try to bring out the thing after putting it away and re-equipping it, it does the reload effect. So who knows? Looks like this is a good way to get the um, weapon to kill something whilst on the reload explosion. So we'll try and destroy these turrets with that. Bombs away. Reload again. Bombs away. Reload again. Knocked out one. Didn't mean to throw that one. Well. Sometimes you can throw it and sometimes it does it automatically, so it's a little bit inconsistent there, but it's not much of a... Um, hindrance to you. Just gotta make sure you're in a good place for a grenade before you reload is all. And hopefully Warmock isn't too mad at me for using this massive exploit. Let's move on to Old Swan, huh? Alrighty, half of the zappers that I'm carrying, which is 5 out of 10, are going to be the explosive and then half of them are gonna be furious, so we're gonna have a little bit of RNG against us here. Hopefully we can draw all furious to make sure we kill this dude as fast as possible. But we'll just see how we go. Let's see how this performs as a stealth weapon, shall we? Looks like we've got a... Furious weapon to start up. And this one appears to be broken. Let's open up our Pip-Boy and bring it out again. That fixes it. I'd say we've drawn Furious once again. Looks like the range is a little bit lacking if it's um, the standard, so we'll probably do better on him if we get more shots and bats. So what a perfect time to test how many shots we can get. And you can see it's very generous, so we'll be able to get a plenty of shots and plenty of damage stacking, which is really good. Hopefully. Are we even hitting him? His health bar isn't seeming to budge. I don't think we're hitting him. That's upsetting. Wait for our AP to regen, and then we'll go for another target. Probably his legs, they're the closest to us. Hopefully he doesn't stop us while we, we try to do that. And take out his Achilles heel. Well, he stomped on something and it made a nuclear explosion. It seems to do the damage on him. Looks like the weapon reloads as normal in that, which is kind of bizarre. But for whatever reason, um, this thing can't actually hit him. There you go. We've got some of the reload damage on him, which is pretty neat. But I'm pretty sure we might need to pop out the explosive weapons or legendaries of this weapon to actually do damage to him. We have now. Excellent. Ooh, looks like um, Scrapper 4, I think, no, Scrapper, th no. One of the perks just procced. Ooh, I'm getting a bit rusty at remembering these perks. Hmm, where'd my guns go? Am I out? No, I've got three explosives left. Now, the question is... What happens when I run out of explosive bullets? Or ammo in general? Whoops. Looks like it's glitched out there. Looks like she remembered to throw the overloading weapon. Oh, we got to attack now. We can absolutely decimate him with the help of... Well, the weapon in general, it's going to go very well when you've got Nerd Rage and Destroyer of Arcadia. Arcadia? I think that's what it is. Going, so... There we go. 
a pretty decent weapon, just as long as you've got explosive on it for fighting bosses. Find one more okay, thing. Okay, learning the valuable lesson of how Furious doesn't really work with its um, projectiles, I've gone for just 10 of the explosive variants just to get the maximum damage output. So right here we've got the Mirework and uh, we'll try and kill him very quickly without getting killed ourselves as usual. Hopefully we can get him to stagger a bit but looks like... Oh, I threw the grenade and vats, that's cool. Messed up a little bit there, didn't want to fire in vats so... Ooh, stay back, foul beast. Wait, ooh, we can climb. I didn't realize we could climb that. Okay, we're in a lot of trouble. Um, that glowing one would be useful. Okay, he didn't kill us, which means we're good. Quickly throw it now, please. Thank you. Come on. Any day now, come on. Don't forget to throw things. Oh boy. Yeah, Matilda here is a little bit uh, blonde sometimes. She forgets that uh, the grenade gun is going to explode in her hands and needs throwing. So, to that end, we're going to change our tactics up a little bit. This time we're going to go for use just vats and running in the water to prevent him from clawing us while we scurry away for a reload. Hopefully this will be a decent enough spot. We'll throw a few crits in there just so we don't miss the first couple of shots while concentrated fire gives us more accuracy. First shot, we'll go one more just so we're safe. Got to get all the damage on him as possible while we can. There we go, we should be right to hit every single shot now and at the same time regain our crits for when we do this again so definitely a very good VATS weapon. Now that we're out of action points, we sprint into the water. Aha, you see? A crustacean's biggest fear is water, apparently. Alright, now that he's over there, we've got a good shot on him, or good range on him, before he'll hit us, so we'll again hit him in bats like this. We'll shoot his pretty little face with the explody gun. We've got a lobster coming out of the ground. We'll try to draw him away. He managed to hit us there, which is bad. Oh, he's followed me into the water this time. He has learned to swim. He's a scarily fast learner, this one. Let's keep on shooting him in the face. Okay, he's mutated now. We'll try to get away while we can. We'll head to this little pier here, see if his pathfinding will allow him to get over to me. Tell you what, this dude finds... Oh, run away. Then we'll just lure him. Okay, that was odd. We'll try to lure him back here now. Where is he? Go away, Mr. Lobster. There he is. One of the most terrifying things you'd see coming out of... Ooh, okay, we've gone into nerd rage mode, which means it's our time to strike. 25 bullets to go. And in. will we have enough damage? Not quite. We'll keep running away. We'll use the altered physics of nerd rage to jump an extremely long distance. And we'll get a reload. Alright, he's on his last legs now, and I think we've got him on the run, so we'll quickly finish him off in vats here, just so we can guarantee the shots. And he's dead. And a disintegration, very good. Reload animation plays as normal in third person. Are you going to throw it? Let's have a look. Well, you've got an overloading zapper gun in your inventory, you might want to... Toss that out before it explodes. Very good. But that was one of the two energy weapons that comes in this pack of mods. Obviously, it's the mods in early days now, so the bugs are to be expected to some extent. So, yeah. 
The implementation enough of this weapon is enough to sell me on it. The bugs, I don't really mind. I mean, it's Fallout 4. You kind of get used to them after a while. But the link will be in the description for the PC players you can get this. Hopefully, Wilmok will be kind enough and have the patience to port it to console so the rest of us can get this. I guess not PS4 players, though, because Sony hates you. Nah, I'm kidding. But uh, thanks for watching, guys.